Hi, my name is Natalie Cochran, and today I will be discussing the composition and bioprocessing of barley in malting and biofuel applications. Some of the main bioactive compounds found in barley are phenolic compounds and vitamin E. Phenolic compounds are typically found in the outer layers of the kernel. For example, flavonoids and free forms of phenolic acid are found in the pericarp. However, bound forms of phenolic compounds are ester-linked to the lignans, cellulose, and other polysaccharides in the cell walls. Vitamin E is found in two forms, tocopherols and tocotrienols. Tocopherols are mainly found in the germ of the plant, whereas tocotrienols are primarily located in the pericarp or endosperm. The malting process begins with steeping, which involves soaking the grains in water for two to three days to increase moisture content and begin germination. Germination is a four-day process that allows for the grain to sprout and cell walls to break down. Kilning is the final step in malting. This step stops the germination process and gives the malt its flavor and color. This process causes the breakdown of endosperm cell walls, which releases starches that are necessary for brewing. It also causes the release of phenolic compounds and vitamin E compounds during germination. However, these levels are observed to decrease again during kilning. Once the malting process is complete, the malted barley is mainly used for brewing beer. This process begins with milling the malt to expose its starch and then mixing it with purified water to break down the starch into sugar. Afterwards, the mixture is laudered to separate the solids from the sugary extract called wort. This wort is then boiled and mixed with hops to add flavor, smell, and bitterness to the beer, as well as act as a preservative. Once this process is completed, the hops are removed and the mixture is clarified and cooled. The wort is now fermented with yeast for about 7-10 to 10 days, then the yeast is removed and the solution is now beer. The beer is then stored for at least three weeks until it is filtered and bottled. The production of barley is important because of its great effect on the Canadian economy. Canada is the second largest producer of malt, with 250,000 tons of malting barley being used in beer production annually. This beer production generates roughly $5.8 million in federal and provincial taxes, and the export of malt produces around $1 billion annually. When producing biofuels, the straw and stems of barley are used. These materials are considered lignocellulosic biomass. The process of converting this biomass to ethanol consists of five main steps. The first step is to pre-treat the biomass by milling it into fine particles and soaking it in a solution to open up its structure. Then enzymes to de deconstruct the structural polysaccharides of the biomass are produced. These enzymes are used for enzymatic hydrolysis of the pre-treated biomass to form fermentable sugars. These enzymes are usually a type of cellulase that can break down the polysaccharides of the biomass, such as cellulose, into sugars. Once these sugars are produced, they can be fermented to produce ethanol, which is then purified to become an acceptable fuel. The use of residual and waste materials from farming to produce biofuels has many benefits. These include reducing waste, creating a cleaner burning fuel, and using a production process that creates less greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you learned something interesting today.